Hello everyone. Well, today we are here to talk about a preview feature which is recently in public preview in, in March, I guess 3rd or 4th March, and it's known as Backup Reports. You can see on your desktop right now with the mouse is Backup Reports under the Recovery Services Overview. Okay. Well, these, this backup reports actually changes the life of backup administrators. It uh, gives you or enables you to uh, do a lot of things that you were not able to do before. Okay. And today we will show you how to configure the backup reports. There are a few steps. We need to create a log analytics, configure the diagnostics and all, and then we'll do it. Now, just to understand these backup reports is one-stop destination for tracking usage, auditing of backups and restores and identifying key trends at different levels of granularity okay right now this is not configured and we have a uh, uh, tabs like summary backup items usage jobs and policies we can utilize all these to make our life easy with backup reports uh, we can answer questions including which backup item consume the most storage okay which machines have had consistently misbehaving backups what are the main cause of backup failures and many more so without wasting any more time let's go ahead and configure the backup reports you need to get back to your vault go to the diagnostic settings before I create it just need to go through the backup reports configuration process we need a log analytic workspace to store the backup reporting data second we need to configure the diagnostic settings for your vault we can see we have right here under monitoring recovery vault record information about schedule operations and user triggered operations as diagnostic data and azure backup also provides a built-in azure policy which automates the configuration of diagnostic settings for all vaults in a given scope and once this is configured we can view the reports on azure portal as i showed you you once this is configured go to over you click on reports and here we'll find all the reports right now we don't see anything though it asks for the workspace because it has not been configured you can see nothing is here even though if i choose the workspace i won't find anything okay all right so let's quickly go ahead and configure the backup reports so you need to go to the diagnostics all right and then because i already have the workspace i told you our first step is create a log analytics workspace which is independent of the location and subscription where your vault exists so i already have the uh, workspace or okay so it will show you in the drop down when I configure the diagnostic settings so let's click on add diagnostic settings you can give it a name and we have all the locks that we want okay need to give it a name let's call it uh, okay. and let's select the locks that we want
okay and we want to send these these logs to a log analytics and let's send it here or maybe yeah let's send it here no no worries okay all right now we need to save it so this is the name of our diagnostic setting and these are the logs that we want to send to this log analytics workspace let's save it okay now this will take time to send all the data all the information but that's how you configure your backup reports okay once you configure diagnostics it may take up to 24 hours for the initial data push to complete once data starts flowing into the workspace that we have chosen here we have chosen you may not be able to see data in the reports immediately hence uh, the demonstration has been completed here because it will not show it might take 24 hours as the MS documentation says let's see go to the back of reports and come on and if I if we would not be able to see here but don't worry we'll go through the documentation page which would have the information to cover this part see right now I have nothing but you can see these tabs will help you understand all the report well this summary it provides a high level overview of your backup state you can get a quick information of the total number of backup items total cloud storage consumed number of protected instances and the job success rate per workload type okay under backup items uh, you can see the trends on cloud storage cons consumed at a backup item level for example if you're using sql in azure vm backup you can see the cloud storage consumed for each sql database being backed up okay under usage you would have the information about your uh, key billing parameters of your backups is the billing entity for your backup under jobs you can have uh, the information regarding the uh, long-running jobs such as the number of failed jobs per day and the top causes of job failures those kind of information and under policies you you would have uh, your active policy such as the number of associated item and the total cloud storage consumed by the items backed up under a given policy regarding the policy information those information you would have here this that's how you can configure your backup reports and if you want to see this you can go and this is the update announcement on the March 4th regarding the backup. It also mentioned few benefits like boundaryless reporting across multiple workload types that are associated by Azure backup, not only the Azure VM. It says rich slicing, dicing, and drill down capabilities, offers a range of filters and visualization experiences that enables you as a backup administrator native azure based experiences backup reports can be viewed right on the azure portal i showed you that <clears throat> like this and under the documentation you can see once you configure that you would have those information that i was talking about see uh, this is the summary page it gives the information about total number of backup items total cloud storage consumed 
those information you can see right now under summary we have backup items 42 15.5 protected instances cloud storage in GB and below there is a granularity similarly for the backup items we can see 82 7 protection stopped those kind of information and you can drill down below same goes for the usage okay you can see and this jobs and the policies which are active which are associated you can export this to Excel you can pin it to dashboard so this is the backup reports which is in preview you can go and use this feature if you want you can submit your feedback to the Microsoft and do check it out thank you thanks for watching